hi this is our direct and today we are going to install CentOS 8 in the virtual machine using Oracle's VirtualBox manager right here also I am going to show you how you can um, set up NAT or network address translation and host only adapter right now let's go ahead and do that but before we start just a quick note here if you have questions in mind or something to say please don't hesitate to type it down on the comment section below because I will be reviewing all the comments and I hope to help you. If you like this video or my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you will be notified for new uploaded videos. So without further ado let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do here is to create a virtual machine. So to create a virtual machine all you need to do is click on the machine and then click on the new here and then on here you can name your virtual machine I'll name mine dev serve and then on the machine folder you can create yours I've already created my uh, folder here but if you want to choose or select or to use the default uh, machine folder it's fine so on the type uh, I'll choose Linux here and version I'll choose uh, 2, 6 or 4 64 bit Linux layer and then click on the next and then it's up to you if you want to increase the recommended memory size here I'll increase mine to uh, 4 gigabytes or 4,900 4096 MB All right now click next here and then on here I'll choose the default option for 8 and then default option there next and then default option there next and on here I'll change mine to 25 gigabytes as as this uh, as the size of my virtual hard disk all right so the next thing we need to do here is to right click on this uh, uh, virtual machine that we've just created and then click on the settings and then go to the network and then uh, as you can see the first adapter here is enabled by default and then it's attached to NAT or Network Address Translation which is good because this is what we're looking to set up right now on the second adapter we need to enable this manually by clicking on this checkbox here right click on that to, to enable this adapter and then we need to attach this to uh, host only adapter this is where our virtual machine will be connected to uh, this uh, local area network within the uh, virtual box right now on the first uh, adapter here as you can see it's attached it is attached to uh, NAT or or not network address translation this is where the internet connection is happening right so if you don't know what NAT is uh, network address translation it has a um, very straightforward uh, functionality all it does is that it uh, translate local devices IP address uh, to uh, public IP address to be able to connect to the internet all right all right so cool I'll go ahead and click on these uh, OK button here now we're ready to install uh, CentOS uh, 8 and uh, all you need to do is uh, start this uh, virtual machine so you can either double click on this or click on this big arrow here or you can right click on this and start and then normal start right so I'll double click on this to start this virtual machine and now here as you can see it's empty because you need to select our um, uh, CentOS uh, installer so click on this and add and then I'm going to select CentOS here then open it and then choose and then now you can click on the start right so I'll go ahead and select install CentOS Linux here enter
All right, now here you can select the language. I'll go ahead and click on that for English. Continue. And then on this uh, installation summary, if you can see there's a exclamation or red text here or says error here, you need to check on this and then uncheck and check it again and click done here. So it will, uh, it will, uh, it will be selected uh, correctly and also you need to click on uh, network here because we need to set up set this up uh, the all right so this is where our uh, net is connected to and this is where our host only adapter is connected to right so I'll go ahead and turn this on and for the host only I'll go ahead and turn this on as well and also we need to assign a static IP address for this uh, uh, Ethernet which is the host only adapter so I'll go ahead and click on the configure button there and then on the IPv4 settings tab here I'll click on that as you can see it is currently dynamic and I'll change this or we are going to change this to manual and then we're going to add an IP address here and I'm going to say one and two that once is eight dot fifty six. Uh, we're going. Let's make sure that it's fifty six. So yeah, it is. The range is one and two that once is that fifty six that one. So I'll go ahead and say fifty six dot fifteen or twelve, and then on the net mask I'll go ahead and say two five five two five five zero, and the default gateway should be. The IP address of our uh, virtual box host only Ethernet adapter. So 56 at 1, right? 912.168.56.1. Okay. Now for the DNS servers, we're going to use 8.8.8.8. Uh, this is uh, Google's DNS server. Um, Alright, I think we're good there. And then I'll click on this. And. Uh, save and turn this on and I think we're good there all right so I'm going to change this one host name to uh, dev serve uh, env apply and now I'm going to uh, click the done button here done make sure server with GUI is selected here also on software selection all right so now let's click on the begins installation here click on that and now you can it is uh, up to you if you want to set the password or not so I'm going to set the password here uh, password for root and done and uh, user creation I'm going to create the user here or maybe later all right now as you can see it is completed and uh, we are ready to click on the reboot uh, button here and then uh, let's just uh, close this uh, window here machine all right uh, click on the virtual machine here right click on that settings and then on storage I'm going to select that and then delete that and then okay then we are ready to double click this one or start the virtual machine so enter Alright, now we need to click on this license uh, information 
because we need to click on this accept license agreement right click on that and then done and then now we can click on the finish configuration button here now we can click on the next button here and then just click next and I'll just click on the skip here and now we can uh, put some name here uh, I'll put autodidact here and then just click next and then I'll create a password for autodidact user next and then start using CentOS uh, Linux and then click on the user then enter your uh, user password that we've just created uh, two seconds ago okay now close this window and now uh, click on the activities here and click on the terminal ping uh, google.com so great that's good because it uh, we are uh, actually connected to the internet right so I'll cancel that and now let's say ping I am going to ping my uh, IP address uh, my the, the host IP address uh, let's say CMD and then let's say uh, IP config and then uh, I have my IP address here 100.10 so I'll ping that 192.168.100.10 perfect so that's good cool we can connect to the host and uh, let's see if uh, our host only is not connected so if this is the case all you have to do is connect this right so uh, click on that and then wired settings and now let's double check the settings for the host only adapter so the IP address that we have set up uh, a few minutes ago is uh, 56.12 all right i am going to uh, ping uh, 56.12 here from windows ping 1 and 2 to 168.56.12 and boop that's good we can ping or we can communicate from our host or from the guest so i can ping our host and our host can ping our guest all right so i'll cancel that and we're good to that so now we are going to test if we can connect or we can access that via browser so i'll double click this browser here i'll go ahead and paste the ip address obviously we can't access that through browser because we don't have yet the uh, web server so we are going to try to install Apache here so we can test if we can connect via host uh, browser All right so I'll go ahead and go back to the uh, virtual machine and go ahead and say sudo yum install Apache uh, password Oh no, I think I'm wrong there. I think uh, HTTPD. That's HTTPD, right? Yeah. And then here, yes. And 
and then that's complete then we'll say sudo uh, firewall dash cmd list all all right so we need to add http and https services here all right so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to say a sudo firewall cmd and then uh, zone is equal to public and then I'll say permanent and then I'll say add uh, services or service is equal to HTTP then enter success and then I'll go back there and add HTTPS enter and then we're going to list the uh, all allowed services there not yet because we haven't reloaded the firewall let's go ahead and do that sudo firewall cmd reload success now let's list all the apps all services so as you can see we've added http and https there right now let's go back here and try if it is working obviously it's not working why is that let's start or check if uh, the apache is working properly or is running status uh, httpd so it's not working or it's not active so we're going to turn that on so i'll say sudo system ctl uh, start http d okay now i'm going to check the status and it's starting right now i'm going to say uh, we want this to be uh, automatically be started when 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 you reboot the system or when the system reboots all right so i'll say sudo uh, system ctl enable uh, httpd all right cool now let's check the status again okay now let's try this uh, again and it's now working so we can access access the uh, guest server through our browser so now we can start our uh, web development uh, using VirtualBox and uh, our our guest server is now connected to the internet and we don't have problem uh, working with your uh, web development stuff right so I think we're good here and thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new today right